Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Cook Talk with Angry Black Call Me. This week I have two amazing guests. One is my mother and a second is her friend that she has come from Nigeria. This week we're going to be cooking um, egusi stew. Uh, we'll be using kale and spinach for it and we'll be eating that with eba. Eba is Gary. Gary is cassava flakes. <laughs> um, the topic for this week will be uh, Nigerian politics. I personally am not a politician. My mom's guest that she brought on the show is a politician, luckily. So we're just going to be discussing the politics in Nigeria, the current state of Nigeria, and what the diaspora and the youth can do for our country, if anything. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen. I'm joined by my beautiful mother. Can you see? Can you see? You all see where I came from? Like, obviously I'm beautiful. Er, sure. But but <laughs> this is the blueprint, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um. Right. So today in the kitchen we are going to be cooking egusi, which is basically a stew. It's a Yoruba dish, isn't it? This is soup, not stew. It's a soup <laughs> made with melon seed. Okay. I got it right! Made with melon seed um, and we use spinach traditionally, but we're going to be using spinach and kale. I don't know the difference between a soup and a stew, but it's a soup that we use to eat either rice or ukele, which is basically... What's the translation? Swan. We call it swallow. Call it swallow, but that just sounds a bit wild, especially in the given climate of our generation and what swallow means. Um, I'm not gonna explain that to you, mom. Don't worry. <laughs> Go on. But it's literally um, eba, pounded yam, ground rice, fufu. Anything that you don't chew. Anything you don't chew that you literally dip into some kind of stew, and the stew you allows aids the digestion basically. Or at least it getting through your esophagus. Um, we're gonna start with the egg goosey. And my mom's gonna do a lot of the cooking today, she doesn't know it. <laughs> 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 my mom's gonna help with the cooking today, so she's gonna talk me through it because I've only really cooked egg goosey like once or twice by myself, but my mom's always made a goosey. Um, for anyone that wants to know where I get my love of cooking from, she's the reason. She's the reason I'm an amazing cook, she's the reason that I can cook, she's the reason I like to cook. Um, but she's not the reason why you like food. But I'm not, yeah, I'm not the reason she likes food. You can tell by my mum's obviously, I won't say she's missing meals, but she just doesn't like to eat, but I like to eat. So, um, the, her problem is she cooks and she will tell you, ah, which basically means I can't eat anymore, I'm full. So she just gets full off the smell of cooking, which is abnormal to me, because the more I smell food, the hungrier I get. But you know, each to their own, cut from a different cloth. Oh, well, not really cut from a different cloth, but something on those lines. But let's get into it, Mama. Too much grammar. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, done now. Let's cook a goosey job. She, she, she had degrees in English and she's still telling me about grammar. I failed English GCSE the first time around. Yeah, Too because phonet does not make you pass English. It's not about the phonet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. We're gonna get straight into it. I felt like it's only right to have my mother on the show as a guest. One, because she's the reason I cook. Secondly, because I've had my sister on here, I've had my daughter on here. So, you know. The missing link. The missing link, exactly. Oh, oh. Um, how do we go? What do we do, Mom? Where do we start? You start with bleaching, lady. When you say bleach, I need another pot, don't I? Yes, you can, can I just do it in that yes, one? Yes, you can oh, do okay. it in that one. So, by bleaching, please it's explain to... We'll say, oh my God, meaning which you would bleach it. So you're going to put the oil and let it get really hot. And the oil we're using is palm oil. Um, I know that a lot of like, people are trying to tell you that palm oil is not good for you, but um, we've been using palm oil in Africa for <coughs> donkey years and we're alive. But... You know, I don't know the science behind it. Obviously, there's some 
strains of palm oil that must have some damaging effect. Is that enough or but is that too is, much? It's enough, but there's research to eat now that it's better than any other oil as well. Well, that explains why we're still here. Um, obviously, we all know that the whole world came from Africa. We've been using palm oil since I can remember, obviously. <laughs> saying that it's only 25 years of wubi but the recipes that have been a lot of african recipes have palm oil in it so how palm oil all of a sudden is bad because these european companies are telling you so is confusing to me but each to their own so we're bleaching the oil as as that's the terminology for it i don't I, i'm going to open the window because the noise that makes is a bit annoying okay um what do I do now, mommy? We need that. So you're going to do some onions. Am I blending them? Or? Um, chopped. A lot of what happens with them? Uh, oh, my pussy. goggles! Wait, I need my goggles. Let me see if you chop it. Would you like some goggles? No, thank you. <laughs> so when you chop it, the essence is here. You're going to have to help me one, or secondly. Just a little bit louder, mommy, so that my mm -hmm. my, my uh, when you ch the thing is when you want you, you want the gussi to have the seeds um to kind of have the clusters, isn't it? So it doesn't yeah. just dissolve into it. So Should we turn this down? Yes, you're getting the, the bleaches there. That's quick. So you can blend it and just you mix it with it. Okay. Yeah, when you just blend a bit of it, you now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna food. mix some. I'm yeah, going to blend food. some mm, onion. A few pork. Sorry, Mom. I was going to ask you to do something, but. <laughs> so I'm going to put the onions in here and rinse them and then blend some of them. Yes. Apparently. With this being said, I do have. I have cooked it with in the past without my mom being here. I just kind of want mommy's touch on it. Um, if you have been following me on Instagram for a while, you will see that it's one of my many recipes that is already on there. Um, but, and the first time I actually cooked it and I put it on <laughs> Insta stories, <laughs> I was actually on the phone to my mum the whole time. So, um, it's still a learning progress. Right, so we're gonna blend the rinse the onions as usual white vinegar as per usual well no with onions i don't really use white vinegar i'm lying because they've got onion skin to protect them so uh so i'm gonna rinse the onions and throw them into the blender when Molly was on the show I was like, oh, you don't do anything in the kitchen, all you do is stand there and look pretty, and now you're literally doing the same thing. Uh, I saw her standing there and looking pretty. <laughs> That's why I'm standing here looking pretty too. <laughs> <laughs> and talking you through it. Yeah. Malaya will joke you through it. That's, That's all the help you get from Malaya. <laughs> I feel like my scarf wants to fall down. I really want to find it funny. Um, right, so it's a plug. But um, this head wrap is literally my favourite head wrap. It's by, they're called Eze Wraps. Eze, how do you say Eze? Like the Igbo name. Eze. Eze, okay. Eze Wraps. And she's on Instagram and her head wraps are amazing. Not just because of the print, but because they're satin lined. So they actually, if you have natural hair or any kind of hair underneath, it keeps it nice and protected and moisturized and all that good stuff, which is a major selling point for her um so yeah check her out on instagram i'll put a link below um but yeah her wraps are amazing and this is not like a biased how do you say that word biased biased i'm pretty sure you're saying it wrong too biased, oh, biased review because i actually purchased this but she's doing something right um right so now i want to add a little bit of water a little bit, of, is that enough? Yeah, good. A little bit of water, literally a tiny bit, because you don't want... Well, if you didn't want it, you should have just made that smaller, so that it's easier, the blades will cut it, but go on. It's a good blender, you know, so the blades are probably still Thank quite you. It's a solid one, then. Yeah, it's one of those good ones. I invested in my blender. Because you like your food. Exactly! <laughs> Sometimes it just, it's 
It's a good blend, but it's not going to die on this one. I'm doing this on the chop setting. If I was doing it on liquid, I would have done okay. it right now, but I'm actually doing it on the chop setting. Okay. Right, well and done, Blender. <laughs> and now, Mom, you're going to have to do this because I'm not burning myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, me, is that right for me to burn myself? No, but you're, you're a veteran. You know, it's what you do, babe. Okay, so you know, right there, really. <laughs> yeah. You're going to use the rest to mix these. I feel like my wood is going to be in the Mm. I'm going to use the rest to mix the agusi. So am I blending the agusi? You You're going mix? to put some agusi and mix it with it. Am I? Yes. I didn't know. I didn't know this, guys. <laughs> uh, right. Let me take this off. So you can turn it back up. So what do we do next, mom? Mm, back off. You mix it, mom. I'm stuck. Can't go. Yeah, I'll try this here. Yeah, hey, what's the job? Good job. She's washing me in my kitchen. Down, down, down means hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I fully said that like an app. Okay, so onions are doing its thing with um, the palm oil. Now you're saying so. Put some goose in the bowl and just pour the onions and get a dry wax it. I can use that one for this. I'm pouring onions in it, aren't I? Sorry. Right, so my mother is saying I should take the bowl. It's going to be so interesting writing this recipe up for the blog just because I'm actually learning as we're doing this. Um, so, should I pour the mm, onion or the agusi? This is, is this agusi from Nigeria? Yes. Oh, I got the real stuff. I got the back home agusi melon seed for your. So, once I open this, because of my mom, I've never opened packaged Jane, like, haphazardly. My mom used to get so angry when we were kids. If you did that, she'd literally fight you for opening. Like, you know when you open a box of cereal and you just shoom? Let my mom catch you. But, um, so, I, I'm very fussy about the way I open packaging now. Just pour some in. Mm. But the bowl is wet, does that matter? It doesn't matter. Is the onion not wet? Mom, you have, have to, to speak mix. English. Yeah, the onion is wet too now. Did you use Cause water? Because I'm not you can to translate. Oh, that's long. Tell me where to stop. Uh, good, yes. Okay, let's stop. It's enough. <laughs> and then put it. Uh, that's your wifey. All of it. Mm, why should you get it? Yeah, see how it goes. And mix it with my hands. Yeah. My hands. Guys, look, orange nails. Oh! My hands are clean for the record. Um, like that. Thank you. <laughs> my mom's doing sous chef up in my kitchen. It's a yeah. dream come true. <laughs> okay, I should have kept my goggles on because my eyes are doing a madness. Right, mom, should I put more goosey in here? A little bit more. I'm still seeing for that. No. Okay, help me wipe my eye, please. We kept on my eyelashes. Uh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't come here to be an eye wiper. <laughs> right, so. Oh, this actually looks really nice. So you've got this beautiful mixture of um, onion and egusi in the bowl. So it's, a, it's a nice pasty texture. Um, but I'm really just going to follow my mum's instructions. Oh, mum. After I should have kept the oh yeah, it's also because of the oil and the onion. Yeah. Mm. So what do I do now, mommy? <laughs> oh basically that whole exchange, basically she said you're gonna I'm crying because I took my gloves off too early. Um Yeah, it's Um she basically just said am I going to put pepper in it and I said pepper meaning the tata shit oh, I'm still saying yoga. 
Oh, you're so cute. I love you too, mummy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Don't you? Tomorrow she'll be cussing me on the phone. It's okay. Um, right. Let me just rinse to take this out my nails. Because, uh... Guys, please, I'm crying because of onion, because bad bees don't cry! <laughs> you look wrong for last one. I might have. I doubt it then. Sure, so that the bad bees. I'm mad at this in my hand, man. Okay. Show you Dindi, it makes your life easier. She just said I should rinse them whole because it makes my life easier and she's completely correct. So should I use two of these and one? Mm, that would do. And one would do or two would do. Rodo is scotch bonnet, so how many scotch bonnets one? How hot do you want it? How hot do I want it? Well, I like being hot. My man, my food. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, we had them luge. No, they're quite big ones, I use one. White vinegar, as usual, and with the veg. Cold water, and just give it a rinse. Rinse all the pesticides and the bad stuff out of it. Drain it out. So do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Mum? Or no? I am Kofora. I love I'm that. I'm sure you know that. <laughs> I've been there. Don't that tell one. me you're going to put that in the bin, though. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, I would have wondered if I was your mother. <laughs> <laughs> My mum doesn't rap. You don't waste food. <laughs> My childhood says <laughs> that. I'm going to cut. I'm going to throw this away because it's a bit hot. Okay. Hard. Yes, Ibadje. I can understand. Okay. Okay, Mum, continue to tell my viewers about yourself, please. Yes, I am Kofora Allah, and I'm sure that um, you know the rest because I'm your mother. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, you don't want to share a bit of you with YouTube? No? Nothing, no. She, she's not giving none of it up. Wow. She's a bad bee. <laughs> um. Okay, tell them a bit about me as my okay. mom. Yes, Whoa. I am Kufora, like the mother of Latifa Tomo Mumi Abdel. No, 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 we don't do government. All of that's going to be redacted. <laughs> we, redacted. Rebecca. Oh. Latifa to Rebecca, the Chris Lam girl. The Chris, imagine. Okay, fun facts. <laughs> fun facts about Wumi. My dad's actually a Muslim, my mom's Christian, so I'm the Christian girl according to my mom. That's very interesting. I've never heard that term. I don't practice either religions, just for the But you have a Christian name and you have a Muslim a Christian name. Christian name, a Muslim name, um, Yoruba names obviously. You have a Yoruba name Yoruba. and an Oriki name. What's Oriki again? A baby. It's, but what does Oriki mean? Oriki is the, um, is the praising for a child. That's um that's your heritage praising. But nice. um with the uh, Oriki um people are some people are born with it. I am I know. I was born yeah. and I know. Um uh, but um aduke. It's yeah. just a child where you've you've wanted and it's just a pet's name, an Oriki name. Okay. Adoni. Um Adebi. Basically she just said mine, my sisters and my daughters. But God. Uh, yes, so those are all pet names, and then there's a um, more. Um, but I swear, I know. There's Ojo. Because I remember when I was in school in Nigeria, they told us that I know they gave us like a list of names that I, are given to children based on the circumstances of their yes, birth. Yes, I know. So it's I know it's when you're born with your. With a cord round your, your neck, neck, which automatically means you're born a warrior because you survived it. Zoop, zoop. They're usually tough. <laughs> very. Very tough. <laughs> it explains my whole childhood. It all makes sense now. <laughs> because, Should I blend this? Yes, go on. Because we can. Should I drain the water or should I leave the water? If you put it there and now pour it. But do you know my what I did like last time on I don't did you watch the other episode? No, I haven't. Wow energy. 
Right, so the what I did. did. What I did was I put it in a sieve and I let the water drain out. That's the modern twist. The modern twist. So basically what my mum was saying I should do is put it on the stove and let it dry out. Because I think boiling. with the modern twist, what you're doing is you're draining off the nutrients. She said that after I tipped it into the sieve. Yeah, no, I'm just saying to you, it's a quick way, but I personally think you're draining off the nutrients from the pepper. But, but, with your old school twists, yes. all that's happening is the nutrients are evaporating. Well, the water is evaporating, but the nutrients are in there, but now you, you just getting rid of it. That's how I feel. Should I tip it in? Yes, go ahead. Oh, my you're also are wasting the pepper. Am I? Yes. When you tip half of it down the drain. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry. You might need lots of guy if possible because you kind of have nothing. Yeah. I'm going to spend this whole episode translating, but I don't mind. She basically just said I need to bleach some more oil because... What did you say? That's why I get my OCD. Can you see? Every little thing, she wants to clean it because... And this is still demeanor. But she basically said I need to bleach a bit more oil. Why did you say I need to bleach some more oil? Because... Because you know, there's hardly anything it needs to settle on the top of your head. You see where you get there. I recently saw a tweet where someone said... <laughs> there were bad people put too much oil in their stew and I was honestly so offended but it's the way she said it but um with hindsight maybe she is yeah, too much like, of everything is bad isn't it <laughs> I'm not sure about like a lot of everything don't we a lot of fudgy <laughs> and a lot of uh -huh. a lot of everything <laughs> <laughs> Um, right, so, yeah, you can continue to tell your story about me. Well, no, we're learning about all wikis. I like this. Oh, well, you were teaching me what you learned, you know. My oh, yes, yeah, so paid for something, so teach me what you learned. That's the only one I remember, and the only reason that's the only one I remember is because I knew that was your name. Okay. But I know that there's a, there's a list of them, there's a different name for if there's you're born child, in the breach position. Breach and sack. When you're born so what's in, in the set? What's the when name? you're born in the bridge position, you are Ige, I think. And when you come out in a sack, you are okay. So that's technically quite a that's Yes, it's bridge and sack together. Ige, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's bridge and sack. Uh, yes, but I think that's it. I don't know if I've mixed it up, but I know that one is bridge, bridge one is the sack. other is sack. That makes sense. Mm. Okay, so is this oil bleached enough? Yes. Put some. Well, it might have worse. She saved the rest in case if you need it later. Leave it in the bleach position. You need it all. You need it all. Right, so we needed all of that oil. Um, turn it off. Just leave it here. I was just going to put it here so we can use it again, but I didn't want it to be in the way. Right, so, just put, move this and go see to the slide because I don't want it. water getting inside it. Um, okay. right, so next we literally need your veg. the veg. Your veg your right, uh, so your seasoning, Ooh, your seasoning. crayfish, crayfish. everything's veg. behind you. Okay. And it's all lit. No, you, I, was, I thought you was going to get it because then you can. No, yeah, do the honors. Okay, well, we've got some Maggie here. I'll be in for them. I hope they pay you. Got some no chicken. We've got some no original. We have this week. We won't be using any chili flakes, and that is absolutely shocking. We've got a crayfish. Well, you know we could have substituted chili flakes for you blending if you were doing so it. So we're gonna put chili flakes in instead of using blended pepper. Okay. See, there you go. There's another cook talk hack. Are we should we use turmeric? No. Mm -hmm. I just kind of put turmeric in everything just because of the health benefits. So. No yeah, other reason. Like, let me see um, I don't need any of that. I've got cumin, ginger powder, black pepper. I don't think we need anything else. Oh, can put ginger no, I will not be putting ginger powder in my agusi, mum. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I know you like ginger. I know you like to put ginger. My mum is basically with ginger, 
and my mum is how I am with turmeric. So I put turmeric in everything. I'm pretty sure my mum puts ginger powder in everything. But each to their own. So what I'm going to put in is a heaped spoon of crayfish. Because you have to be generous with your seasoning to be a good cook. Oh! <laughs> Basically, what my mum is saying is if you don't season your food, you're... <laughs> It's going to be bland. <laughs> and we all know he doesn't season their food, don't we, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, this is. I, Generosity I, translates to cooking. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You earn it from the, the horse's mouth itself. Not that my mum's a horse, but you know how the saying goes and all that good stuff. Um, so, what are you doing? You're doing a, a mix. So I call the crazy. Lever Brothers and Nestle. Nestle. <laughs> yeah, the Nestle. 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 Lever Brothers does my Really? Have you always the maker of Maggi? I have no idea. You're asking the wrong person then. But you use it. Yeah. Don't mean anything. It's a very seasoning, isn't it? Who makes it? No idea, it doesn't say. It probably says on the packet, but I always say for these things out. Okay. But I think there are two no. different companies. No, you need to know. Unilever does that. Oh, so probably Nestle that does this. I'm not sure. Um, Nestle is actually a really bad company. If I am to find out that Nestle do make Maggi, I won't continue using it. Principle. That's why I plugged it in, because I know that you are anti them. Oh, I didn't, I've didn't. i never <laughs> noticed it, but now that my mom's mentioned it, I will actually check. And if I do find out that Nestle are the ones that make Maggi, I will not continue to use um, Maggi. Yeah, but I know that I think it's Lever Brothers in Unile Nigeria. Yeah, so Uni Unilever Nigeria who are makes the no. Yeah, no, okay. no. Okay. A Unilever brand. They're not actually really a good company either to be honest. They're a big umbrella brand, so they have so much under them, but you know the world's not a nice place either, so it's a bit mad. So it's a combo of different things. Yeah, so I just like it to taste good. So I've literally got two cubes of Maggi, one packet which has two cubes in it of no chicken, and one packet which also has two cubes in it of the no original. I'm just gonna match that out together. And then I'm gonna mm -hmm. throw it in the pots. Yeah, I might not need that, I remember. If you use all of that, you be careful. Yeah, I'll only put a bit in now and then. Mm -hmm. And see how it goes. To taste. Yes, mommy. I learned from you. Don't worry. You know, I've just recently learned that um, we all eat too much salt and oh, uh, yeah. we have asthma and all, every other thing. Yeah, salt, salt is salt is not a great thing, but it is what it is. Isn't it? Because salt is not good, does not mean I won't see the You need it still. Mm. So how is it? Looking really good. Yeah, so it's like what you're doing. You're doing the attack. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's looking really, really good actually. So what I'm gonna do now with kale, just because when you buy kale, let me show you what I mean. Sometimes English for this. Yeah. It just comes out so big and so um. Yeah. That's what just, you're looking for is that it's chewy because you doesn't no not even dissolve. just the chew yeah so you, you know how spinach literally shrivels up in liquids kale doesn't do that so you have to chop it whereas with spinach i can literally just rinse it and put it in like this i, I like spinach leaves baby spinach to be precise my mom loves using has always used frozen spinach which are actually really good um in terms of it doesn't taste any different or anything but the consistency is obviously a little bit different um i really do like fresh so you know like when you go to the caribbean shop or the the afro shop or whatever and you get the um spinach with the stalks and everything i love spinach like that just because the stalks have got a nice crunch to it but and that's what the kale is doing that's what the now. kale is kind of doing exactly this is why i like you lady you're literally just me just a couple of years older so I'm happy couple, no. <laughs> <laughs> I say a couple like it's not a good. Yeah, uh, two decades, but that's that's beside the point. Um, so I'm gonna rinse this. So I'm gonna rinse my spinach and my.
kale. When do we put the egusi in? You're going to cut the egusi in, yes. Cut, you just mean like yeah, trying to drop it in a little bit. Yeah, yeah now or should we do it? Yeah, because you need it to cook. I just ate where more egusi in it. Should I season this one? Should you put a bit of yeah. aromat in it? Yeah? So, to avoid your egusi from being bland, just add little bits of seasoning to your egusi paste. I actually want to use pink salt. Oh shit, shocking in the Kumaro. What? Oh, you show me the Kumaro. Basically, she was saying I'm not going to mince the spinach and the leaves, but I will after. Well, let me turn this all the way down. We're expecting my mom's guest soon. Oh, sorry, guys, it's popping off on the timeline. Well conversation for another day um <laughs> he's expecting your mom's guest he said yeah so expecting my mom's guest soon um what i'm going to do is i'm um, just put this in and we will check how far away or how near or when her guest will be coming um so what do i do mom just what come i just see be born me dear 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 so you just what is Apparently that was too big, so not like that, guys. Can I it's not use a spoon? But I put my hand in it now, so that's irrelevant. Is that better? Mm. Why just yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it's that a big spoon? Yeah, just yeah, thirsty. Yeah, but I don't want to be shaking. Just. Why is it just? Mom, I've got a bushel over my hands now, so you're gonna have to do it. I'm trying not to waste any of the agusi, so I'm just trying to get it all inside. Um, my hands are clean, very clean. Because if you know me, you know that I have major OCD and cleanliness is like a big thing for me. Um, while my mum puts the agusi in the pot, I'm just going to clear up here and mix the spinach and the kale. Um, you know, you have to load you. And we're... Yeah, I'm going to do that and then we'll be back in a second. Yeah, we're back in. We're just about to put the spinach in. So I've chopped it all up. Rinsed all the spinach. Rinsed the kale. Chopped it up nicely. And we're literally just going to throw it in. Mom, tell me when to stop. Because I still want to put the spinach in. So I don't want to put too much. Okay, and now, we're going to get the spinach. Obviously, spinach disappears, so she said, but not too much. She said, oh, tito, which means this and now. Sorry, I'm going to be really annoying on this episode just because, like, my mum brings out the child in me. And on. Get them all to the bottom. And literally, you've just got the, the spinach, the kale, um, and the agusi is just going to do its thing for how long do you think mum? what I'm going to do is set a timer set a timer 20 minutes 20 minutes okay Liberty. no too much you don't need more than 5 minutes 5 to 8 minutes set a timer for 5 minutes please we left for apparently 20 minutes were too long so we're going to set the timer for 5 minutes um and you said you wanted it nice and fresh nice yeah i do like it fresh i prefer mm -hmm. the fresh oh someone is at your front door uh, i think my mom's guest is here she was um i always forget this hello how are you i'm fine thank you i'm coming to the door to get you now We are joined in the kitchen by a lovely Mr. Femi Akin Film. Oh, <laughs> I actually really love your Yoruba name. If you know me, you know that Andre is speaking the language and um, saying everything Yoruba in a Yoruba accent. I hate when you meet someone, they're like, uh -huh, my name is 
bimbo. <laughs> My friend is bimbo. But, oh, the time is done. So what that means is that five minutes is up, mommy. Yeah, and you're looking so beautiful. <laughs> my mommy said my airport looks so beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a big hit like she didn't cook the whole thing. Ignore me. Uh, we're going to put a bit more seasoning in it because obviously as we've added the um, leaves, so the kale and the spinach, they absorb the flavour, so they need to have flavour as well. So we're just going to add... It's the same bit of two cubes of each that I had from earlier. I just didn't use all of it then. Um, you said it's too it much? My mom said I should take the shibi and I should stir it. Shibi is spoon. Shibi is spoon. Where's the kale? It's all gone. <laughs> she said it's all gone. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, no, this looks absolutely amazing. No, I don't think we should put more because I like the egusiness of it. I don't like it when you know when people cook egusi, but there's more leaf than egusi. It's really upsetting. Ooh, I've outdone myself, guys. Oh, sure. <laughs> yes. So, Uncle, let me just fill you in. We made a four leg goosey. Oh, ooh! A four leg goosey. Okay, okay. With, um, and we're going to be making some eba on the side. Which one of you would like to volunteer to go the eba? You're not to turn eba. I know how to turn eba. I just yeah, thought... but we will do it on the fire. Yeah, I do it on the fire. I don't like. If I the way you speak it, but you do so well, so I'm sure the meal will be tasty. <laughs> you already know. The way, the way you pronounce my surname, <laughs> uh, you, you got it. I guys, got it very well. Guys, and this is why okay, we so like to put the be water able. and um, boil up out. Okay, this is what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. So, just boil the kettle. I'm just gonna let it run one more time. Sorry, just behind you. I need to get the. Gary, my daughter absolutely loves <clears throat> Gary. Mommy, can I have Gary? Can I have Gary? You think he's a little boy she's talking about? <laughs> 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 okay, the water's ready. Oh my god, I'm tired of myself. You will not tell me. She knows how to do it. Can you um, pass the um... No, but I'm oh, tired of self <laughs> Mommy, stop it! <laughs> Mommy, stop it! Well, I'm tired of self <laughs> well, no, 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 she knows how to do it. <laughs> so, so, literally, Gary is really simple. Hot water. I mean, Eva is really simple. Ugh. Hot water, Gary. Mix it together and it becomes its own entity, which is ever. I don't have the correct wooden spoon for this. You can use a task. Who is going to use that one? Let me call. Oh, oh no, no, no. This is the correct wooden spoon for the union. Union? Hey, my God, English is my first language, so mad. To be using to pawn ever. I feel like that's such an apt way to say it. Just say make, but. Technically, on a technicality, you really are turning. You say word. I do not say that. To borrow, no, no. Or what? Say if you are making it. Just in a bowl of hot water. Yes. Okay. So yeah. You say word. I prefer to roll eba because I like it to be soft. I feel like when people te eba, which translates to pressing eba, it's um hard it's never it never just has a nice cons it never has like the okile consistency it just feels like you're washing it i don't like yeah but that's food. good with when you're eating it with patty stew can it patty stew like even with the mom you said stew. patty stew you went party as in tabalo tabalo party, stew. Oh, party. Yeah. Oh, like oh, who i best and you said party baby pay you're talking party. about a jamaican party like <laughs> a like party. a vegetable party, party i'm finished <laughs> party who oh, called it party party of the party <laughs> Okay, like all the jockey. I manage a girl. I can imagine. Why are you talking like one? Yes, ma'am. Like you can actually be talking like one. Oh, yeah. 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 Still want to get. Ma, she 
your marrow go here for any In my kitchen, yeah, bro. What's that now, me? Oh, am I for any tea? Let's go, fam. Oh, you bad. Oh, I'm a shit. You want to go for kids? Get ready, bro. Right, so who's telling you about where? What are you? Where are we? Uncle Fred. Oh, can I help out now? Why not? Yeah, a man in the kitchen. Feminism at its finest. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uncle, uncle, uncle. Ah, this is where men are. Okay, this sorry. is where men are. What? Nothing, nothing. Sorry. Oh, take care of it. This is Gary J. Yes, it is. The only one we eat because my grandma is a jebu. And your mom is a jebu. Super jebu. <laughs> Super because <laughs> obviously there they have parties. <laughs> <laughs> You're always partying. Yes, yeah, so we're always partying. You know. Well, now you can say party. <laughs> ah, team got most of my money. No, party, party less or party. Party stew. Party, 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 call less or party oh. less or. Money party stew. Mom, do you know how many people in this kitchen? You said party. Rewind, go go on. Go back to the one, one, go go When I edit this, we're going to. Go back to. I'm going to rewind. I'm going to rewind. <laughs> Okay, oh yeah, I want it ever for oh, check, yeah. Assistance. Uncle came through with it ever. I was about to say this is where men are not in the kitchen and they pulled through, so I take it back. This is where men are not what? Mm -hmm. Good in the kitchen. She won't let you dad buy. Yes, I can actually. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. What? I think I think the fact that my, my pan is a non-stick, my pot is a non-stick pot yeah. is helping out. Let's give credit to the pot too. I'm not the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the person making the. No, no, no. <laughs> the person making the ever too, but the pot came through. Yeah, the pot came. Chef Curry with a pot. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, then. So um, it looks like. My devil. Okay, mm. more then. <laughs> Ebba's ready. So. I'm on the other. That translates to turn off the fire under your pot. No, under your stew. Oh my god. Go the oh, yeah. oh my god. 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 Oh today with me and my guests look out for the blog post on www.angrybackformy.com where you'll be able to find the recipes which gives you a step-by-step -step analysis how to cook the whole meal timings and all that kind of stuff tune in tomorrow to watch the conversation segment of the show um, and please don't forget to like share subscribe and i will catch you on the next episode